Yo, what plant is that? What plant hey, is that? plant is that's that? a pretty flower. What plant is that? G? What? What is that? That's neat. Oja, how excellent is thy name in all the world. How manifold are thy works set aright in all the world. Out of the mouths of babes and subnets are thou art in strength to steal the enemies and the adventurers. Here we have white clover, also called Dutch clover. It is in the legume family, botanical name Trifolium repens. It is one of the three primary types of clovers, and the primary types carry around 3,000 subspecies of clover that grow all over the world except for Antarctica. All Varieties of clover are edible and have similar uses. Trifolium relates to the number of leaves like foliage and tri meaning three. So as you would remember, clover tends to have three leaves. The leaves have a white, almost triangular line in the middle as it grows. And sometimes as it gets larger, it starts to appear as a circle it is edible and it is medicinal so it fits that category also it is best steamed or cooked instead of eaten raw in order to avoid feeling bloated which we'll get to in a moment as we spoke on the other video of the concept of like curing like bees love them and this clover is actually the main source of produced honey in the world. Edible purposes, the dried flowers taste similar to vanilla. White clover is considered a survival food. You can dry out the seeds and the flowers and grind it into a flower. Of course, it seems to lack some type of substance. Perhaps it's gluten and it doesn't quite stick together on its own. You would do better making a flatbread or some type of dessert if you use part white clover flour and part actual flour. It is high in protein. Again, it's in the legume family like beans, so it's high in protein like beans. Having 17 to 33 percent, on average 23 percent of protein within any given batch. It's high in beta carotene, biotin, Calcium, phosphorus, magnesium. It is actually nitrogen restoring to the soil. It grows worldwide. And medicinally, it has been used for fevers, colds, coughs, upset stomach, and nausea. And that upset stomach and nausea, that's where we get to the like curing like concept. Where if you take too much of an botanical substance it may give you the symptoms or the issue of the same ailment that it can help heal flowers in AT have been used for gout for aches and pains caused by rheumatism and arthritis white clover is a source of phytoestrogen and is very beneficial for women with reproductive issues similar to yet not as strong as its relative red clover it's useful for easing menopause symptoms and PMS. There are no toxic lookalikes to white clover. And again, you will see it has this white flower cone style. And it has the white patch in the middle. If you have any existing health concerns, take that into consideration. If you are taking any medications at this time, take that into consideration and allow a two to three hour window before consuming plants medicinally. Do not take anything that you are not sure of or that you have not properly identified. If you 
have any further concerns, do not consume the plant. If you would like to know what other medical implications may come about from going back to a more natural life, to a more traditional lifestyle, after you have properly identified and know the uses of plants thoroughly, and you are still concerned, of course, consult your local drug dealing doctor.